Hi. It's me again. I show my earrings. I just got back from graduation. My grandson got his associate degree. I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe too. I was crying. It's a big deal. The sparkle of heaven. I have the living room, you know. He landed in my hand. The twinkle in his eyes. And the stars are crossed for living for death. My daughter was dying on my right. And on my left, a baby laid in my hands. And I cut the umbilical cord and whisked him away. I heard paddles against my own daughter's chest. I had, and I knew, that if she did not make it, I thought it would be best. to present and gift him to somebody else. It would have been hard. He was so tiny. And tiny and a fighter he was. Through bad daycares. That when I found out, God helped them. Through rough times in school. He was the quietest child there. He didn't cause any problems. Never did. He was lied about. He was tormented. He's almost a poet walking in a mechanic's body now. He's an accomplished chef. And he's almost an accomplished mechanic. That someday I will allow to do my breaks. <laughs> he's there, he's there, he's there. I know, I know. <laughs> anyway, he he has been talking about the Navy and going on from here. And there he'd be able to get a bachelor's and a master's in the mechanics on the big ships, little ships, big trucks, little trucks. He could also do underwater welding. He's one of the best swimmers I have ever met. He's never done scuba diving before, but I'm sure they'll teach him. He's fast, he's quiet, he doesn't say much. For him, I die for. has a girl. He won't tell me who she is. That that she comes from the South Pacific. I looked at him kiddingly and I said, do you mean the movie or the play? <laughs> he didn't. He's never seen South Pacific so he thought I was odd. <laughs> I am odd. <laughs> so here he is. <laughs> and, um, he's just he is the sweetest little boy I know. Five foot seven and just stunningly handsome. Whoever she is, I think she will wait five years until he gets the rest of his stuff, his stuff together. He has a house, a couple cars, and he gets the ants out of his pants. <laughs> He has been a joy to raise. I pay tribute to him. And thank God he was born. Because without him, I never would have learned what humility was.
He is uh, outstanding. I'll be sending pictures soon. I thought I'd let you see me maybe with some a little makeup on and not dying with a hose up my nose <laughs> with oxygen. <laughs> I record because I want to remember. I hope YouTube will never take my stuff down. And then if they don't, they probably won't know if it's there anyway. But he will know. He will know. The good and the bad of Grammy. <laughs> I loved my Paris. I really wanted named after my grandfather, Pascal George, or George Pascal. He was born in Sicily, 1865? No. He was born in <laughs> Sicily in uh, 1895. My apologies. He died five days before my birthday. My birthday. Five days before my birth. That is a birthday, isn't it? Age 71. Paris wants to change his name. So we've been trying to figure out how he wants to do that. He wants the middle name Jamal completely gone. So he loves Paris. Everybody loves Paris. He used to call him Lil Gonzalez. <laughs> In uh, soccer. I've never seen anybody run like that. I couldn't see him run. He went that fast. Anyway, it would probably be, and also how he'll have to talk to his, his priest. Paris also became a Catholic within this last month. And stays true to form as he does everything. Right on the nose. It's <laughs> by the book. <laughs> so his, his, his girlfriend will have to wait for marriage. And um, she'll have to wait for him. I hear she's pretty. Very pretty. And if he decides to ask her to marry him, then he introduces us. He does everything very old-fashioned because he has to meet her parents before he talks to us. Anyway, I know I kind of know kind of the gossip. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen the girl. I haven't even heard a voice. Not even a whisper. She could walk up to me in a grocery store and I would be standing there going, hmm, where's that cinnamon again? I can't see it. And, oh, Clark. Anyway. Congratulations to Skagit Valley Community College and their new associate. Carry on. I can't, but they can.